Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today it's uh, some Monster Legends analysis video. We're going to be going over Lord Heyman, and I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get him out of his current Halloween event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Lord Heyman is definitely the best Halloween monster available right now. And he is going to be a denier and cursor, and his traits are Daze Immunity, Grave Digger, Hardened, Area Random Torture, and Area Random Negative Effect. So rank 4 and 5 are definitely his best traits by far, his other ones are just kind of bad. But yeah, rank 4 and 5 are definitely pretty decent. And then his relics are Staff and Banner, which are both amazing. So now let's go on down to his pros and cons. So he has 3 forms of AoE Denials in Fear, Possession, and Cooldown Activation. He also has an AoE Mega Possession, which is amazing. He also has access to 3 Positive Effect Removal Skills as a Denier, which is great. He also has access to 2 Tortures in Ignite and Nightmares, as well as Random Tortures, which is really, really good. He can also bypass Dodge Area. He has decent status casters. He has a good Relic slot. He has nice stats. And his best skills deal no direct damage, allowing him to ignore Relics and Talents, which is really good and then his cons are this one doesn't really matter he has a risky one if possession doesn't land and that would be god of cobs which gives possession and double damage which can be risky his a mediocre trait other than status casters which is true this one doesn't matter at all i don't even know why that's a con and then his best analysis are aoe which is true which can make him weak against dodge area if you don't have monsters with trait disable or anything that can get rid of the dodge area and then if we go down to his uh, moveset he has an AoE Fear and Nightmares, which is really good, with a 3 turn dull death countdown. That is a very good move. He also has a PER times 2 with random torture and an extra turn, which is great. He also has an AoE at cooldown activation with Ignite. He has an AoE at possession with random torture and single target possession and PER. All of those are great. And then he also has an AoE Mega Possession with Nightmares, which is amazing. So yeah, he has a very good moveset. All of those moves are really, really good. This is definitely one of the best deniers in the game game he just has a lot of really really amazing moves and yeah there's a lot of things that deniers don't usually have like positive effect removal so yeah that is of course very nice to have and it's in an extra turn which is great with only two cooldowns which is really amazing so yeah very good monster definitely try to get him he has a lot of very good killing opportunities with his moves and he has some really interesting stuff as well and yeah that three turn deck countdown with the fear is amazing that can work really well as long as they're not immune to it and yeah it's all of his denies are just really good so this monster is definitely a really great monster to have one of the best deniers in the game if not the best denier in the game probably the best so definitely get him and let me know what you guys think about him and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye